here, Taylor here. Check it out. Um, this is gonna be a pearl cloud over 36 by 36 inch painting. Uh, there's three stages here. I've got paint on my hands. <laughs> this is the base coat. So I've got three base coats here. I've got white. Uh, this is a Prussian blue mixed with a little bit of this kind of turquoisey green base coat that I had. This is a light kind of turtley pretty green blue. And then this is kind of a beigey gray. All very, very thin. This one needs a little more water. See the line, the string of paint. Okay, this is the puddle paints. Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl mixed with Titanium White by Golden Fluid. Okay, this is a Prussian blue. Uh, I darkened it to give it kind of almost a brown blue tone. Um, I just wanted a little bit more of a brown hue. This is Modern Masters Iridescent Gold mixed with their Rich Gold. I like the two of those together a lot. Uh, this is Amsterdam uh, Turquoise Green. Sarah Mac turned me on to this color. I really like it a lot. This is Nicolazzo Gold. And I added a little bit of Modern Masters Oh my gosh, let me think. I kind of gave it like, I gave, I put some Modern Masters orange. They're burnt, it's like a, their orange metallic color. And then I put like a drop of black paint in here. Um, Golden Fluids black paint, just to darken it and richen it a little bit. So those are the puddle paints. Uh, these are my accent paints and my cloud over paints. As an accent, also Nicolazzo Gold. This is a light gray. So these cloud over mixes, um, I don't, these are really the cloud over is what I call the cloud over, but the deco art metallic paints, I don't put any satin enamel in them because they have a property inside the paint that causes that really beautiful cloud over effect. It's, this, it's an interesting paint in every single technique, it seems to play a different role. So. This is the 24 karat gold. Um, it's just mixed with like Liquitex pouring medium and water. A little bit of Floetrol. Just the same way I mix these paints is how I mix the metallics. And I found something really cool. Um, this paint, this vintage brass by uh, Decor Metallics, it behaves almost the same way as the 24 karat gold. So if you can't find the 24 K gold, this is a really nice option. And it's got more of a brassy tone to it. It's actually very pretty. It doesn't react quite as powerfully as the 24K gold, but it works really good, so. All right, uh, we're gonna go on to our canvas over here and get going.
Hi guys. Hey, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this process. Um, so initially what I did is I put down those three different colors of base coat and then I put down the puddle paints and spread them out all over on top of the, the entire base coat. So what happens here is the satin enamel that's in the base coat causes this effect as the um, other paints are stretched on top of it. And then this, everything I'm doing here is kind of what I call the cloud over. So there's a lot of room for interpretation here um, and, you know, different creative, you know, outlook and takes on, on this sort of thing. And what I find really interesting about it is just that it, the painting continues to change and it continues to move and uh, it's really an enjoyable process. So the pipette that I'm using right there, that's to kind of suck up extra paint. So the, the cloud over, I'm using 24 karat deco art. Um, and then the gray cloud over, I put some of the little dots down that are creating some cells in different places. And sometimes when you put that paint down, it starts to kind of puff out a little bit too much. And that's when I take the pipette and I kind of suck the paint back up. Um, a lot of times I use the straw to kind of like narrow, blow, you know, the line that I created inwards and then use the pipette to kind of take out some extra paint um, to make it more of a narrow line, just kind of playing with it. Um, those were kind of fun. I put the gray deck, the gray cloud over, and then I put a little Nicolazzo and then a little bit of Decor 24K gold on top. Those little dots that you're that you're seeing, and uh, and then I kind of sucked some of the white up, the the extra white. It, but it just kind of made for some really pretty, you know, I guess kind of man-made um, cell structure within the painting. And I was definitely going for sort of a coral reef type vibe here kind of a barrier reef sort of um it's a it's a commission painting and the client she really liked that that uh diptych that i did called undertow it was a collaboration i did with sarah mac and so this is inspired by that painting um the color palette is a bit different but i think it's got a pretty similar feel and it's headed to florida so I'll just let you watch the end. I'm going to show you the dried results and how it looks staged and everything at the very end of the video. Um, please subscribe if you like my work. It helps my channel. And I've got some great links below. Other ways that you can support me um, is always helpful and encouraging. Uh, this, uh, it's, uh, it's a process I love, you know, I love... Uh, acrylic fluid paint and it's just been quite a journey this last two or three years so I really appreciate you being on this journey with me that's what it feels like take great care you guys and 
We'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Thank you.